Sagittarius, welcome. This is a reading for July 24th through the 30th. All materials solely formed for entertainment purposes only. Tarot is a game. Sagittarius, I'm going to give it how the cards give it to me. Your sun sign is primal. What you desire starts with you. Sagittarius, sun, moon, Venus, rising. We have the six of hearts. So you're trying to make a decision regarding love. Should you get married? You should hold off on that decision, actually. I'll tell you why. With the three of rods, there's expansion regarding the lover's energy here coming in empowering vibes Sagittarius on July 24th and the 30th there's a decision here and love Gemini energy <coughs> it basically promises a good time music three of hearts and celebration Look, if you're getting married between the 24th and the 30th, congratulations. I, I, I really never get this. This is awesome. <laughs> um, see, whining and dining over the weekend. It's really nice. Adding glamour to your world there. We got that old Mercury joining Mars. Level-headed Virgo. Those energies are going to shift. Totally, totally beautiful energy. Six of spades, ace of diamonds, six of diamonds, and the ten of spades. This is to ferret energy, beautiful energy, idealized. Very well. Venus energy somewhere in between here. Same time, through all of it, you can seem a little bit overwhelmed. Keep an open mind. Don't allow judgment or an ego or the status quo to chase you off. I see romance prevailing. I like that. Something very successful coming in to completely bring in that that joyous time. But like I said, with this judgment here, mm, that pride really does seem to get in the way. Very much uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Check your chart. Perhaps your sixth house placement. There's very much a uh, difficult... Like, just watch out for anything. Or people you just don't want to be around. You don't have to be around them. But there's a choice to be made regarding something with expansion. I'm seeing like a harp, like a heavenly harp of music. Something like your heart strings. Celebrating. But while you're celebrating still, you're like... Like I'm the ship, the captain. Very exciting. Courtship here. Um, calling judgment, though. Now, as far as beauty goes, don't do anything kind of crazy. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Humanitarian work. See where you can give more of yourself to helping others and making a difference. See, a lot of beauty and ability to create at this time.
consider things around the house that need to be mending and revamped at this time. Perhaps you can think of ways to generate money that no one else has done before. You may be in need of motivating at this time. Let me be your motivation. At this time, you're going to need to be building relationships that can help you increase your business profit. I see there's partnerships coming in here. Or you will need them. You don't have to do it alone, making uh, use of basically your available resources around you. The Page of Wands, someone younger than you here. Aries energy very much, perhaps someone that doesn't stick around very often. We have the Crafter here thinking of ways homemade items some kind of craft project donating can create positive energy around you and attract more of that abundance through that kind of energy there's a unique style that they own someone around you Maybe they can consider careers doing hair, jewelry, or clothing, or any job that enhances their beauty. Queen of Cups. Creativity through the roof. So we have teamwork. Romance here. But still pride. And there's still a lot of people with their hands out here. This person barely has any clothes on. And everybody's still asking. Perhaps this page of wands right here. Someone younger. Is going to throw you a spiritual rod. But you got to put your hand out to grab it. Somebody very motivating. A partnership is coming in here doesn't necessarily have to be love and romance i mean this is this is love queen of cups the four of cups something left in stagnation give a dog a bone this old man came rolling home somebody had a great idea and decided to pass the baton What can we do to free up some of this Sagittarius energy? To warm the body and connect with your fire energy, try sun salutations, boat pose. It's also great for strengthening the abdominal muscles and balancing out digestion. So some of you could be worried about this uh, area down here, maybe not looking so hot. It is summer. But you can be working on like breathing exercises and different things. Strengthening uh, the abdominal muscles will be of uh, bring in that solar plexus energy that you're going to need. Sagittarius. The root chakra. Located near the perineum and establishes us on the earth. It is associated with grounding, deepening, connecting to the environment. Getting out into nature is super important. Holding postures with mindful breathing help relieve tension in the heart chakra as well. Poses like upward facing dog, camel, and bridge drive the chest upward and open the chakra. So between your heart chakra, solar plexus, and the root, these are... Um, these positions are going to help free up that energy for you. And of course, if you didn't know, 
these chakras help increase your lifespan and different things like that. Pretty amazing. So I see you in a place where you'll have it just about to give it. But surround yourself around the things that you desire as well. And the people that are more like-minded. Sagittarius, as you expand, just don't surround yourself around difficult people. Heal, heal yourself too. Remember, donating can also create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. July 24th through the, er the 24th through the 30th, check back for 7th through the 13th August reading coming up a lot of good energy through let's say could be a really or coming out of what was say a confusing time into a whole new world it's like stepping into that portal it's going to give you that youthful energy out of let's say that stagnant energy you were once in or perhaps someone around you was once in. And it's going to bring in that donation or whatever. It's going to bring in that spiritual gift. Tap into it. Sagittarius, everything happens for a reason. So if you're new here, welcome. Smash that subscribe button. Like and share. Help my small channel grow. And for all those who have already subscribed, I get to continue doing what I love to do every single day. Tara. See you in August.